I'm Rob Whitfield with the Orange County Register and welcome to OCN2 for Wednesday, August 5th. Authorities say a man was shot and killed by a Santa Ana police officer last night after an investigation into a suspicious person deteriorated into gunfire. Few details about the shooting were immediately available. An officer had been called to investigate a report of a suspicious person in the 2700 block of North Grand Avenue, where the officer found a man wandering under the Grand off-ramp from the eastbound 22 freeway. The situation then quickly deteriorated and the officer opened fire. It's unclear whether the man had opened fire on the officer or whether he was armed. Investigators from the Santa Ana Police Department and the Orange County District Attorney's Office flooded the neighborhood, looking for witnesses to the shooting and clues into what led to the gunfire. The officer was not injured. Authorities are working to determine the identities of five people and the cause of the crash in which they were killed when their small SUV toppled down a steep embankment along the southbound 5 freeway near the La Paz Avenue exit yesterday morning and burst into flames. The bodies were burned beyond recognition, but a coroner's news release said the deceased included a 37-year-old male, a 33-year-old female, and three females of unknown ages. The CHP said the SUV hit a signpost before rolling two to three times down a hill that overlooks El Paseo Shopping Center, then slammed through a fence and hit a tree before becoming fully engulfed in flames. Witnesses reported that the vehicle possibly blew a tire, but those accounts have not been confirmed. The FBI is asking for the public's help in finding a Mexican national wanted in an Illinois killing who has relatives in the Anaheim area. 41-year-old Jose Camacho is wanted on suspicion of the May 2001 slaying of a neighbor in a Chicago suburb. Camacho is believed to have fled shortly after 28-year-old Flavio Venancio was stabbed, strangled, and drowned. Police cite an alcohol-induced argument as the motive for the killing. Anyone with information is asked to call the number on your screen. The Orange County District Attorney's Office has charged Westminster City Council Member Andy Kwok with drunken driving with a blood alcohol level of 0.26%, more than three times the legal limit. Kwok, who clipped a vehicle and crashed into a power pole Sunday morning, knocking out power to about 300 households, is facing a misdemeanor count of driving under the influence of alcohol and an enhancement for having a blood alcohol level over 0.2% while driving. Kwok is scheduled to be arraigned on September 2nd. Kids caught spraying or tagging in Santa Ana might soon have to explain to their parents while the whole family is on the hook for fines, restitution and a few dozen hours of community service. The city council voted 6-0 to zero to adopt an aggressive anti-graffiti law that makes parents responsible for the crimes of their children. The city council still has to take a second vote on the new law to put it into force, but that will likely happen later this month. And you can read more about all of these stories and get your breaking news all day at ocregister.com.